Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D here with Eight House Energy. I'm here to bring you the October 2020 Silent Enemies reading. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give to the channel. Thank you so much. The link to the extended for this video is going to be in the box below. Okay, so make sure you check it out if this resonates. This is a reading that helps you to pay attention to your intuitive nudges. Okay, especially when you're around people closest to you, people that you deal with on a regular basis, your family, your friends. Um, it could be a neighbor. It could be your tenant. It could be your dog sitter. You know, it could be your child's teacher. Anybody that you're dealing with on a regular basis and when you're around them, it's like your, your spidey senses go off. It's like, what's with this person? Something's with it. I don't know what it is, you know. And Scorpios, I can relate when it's like, okay, when you meet people, you either get a a stoplight, <laughs> a red stoplight, like, uh-uh, don't deal with this person unless it's necessary. Or go, you know, don't deal with this person at all. You get a yellow light where it's like, okay, I'm trying to figure this person out. Something's up, but I can't figure it out yet. And then you get a go, okay, this person is okay. That's how my spidey Scorpio senses work. So, you know, sometimes those senses go off with family members and people close to you. You don't want to ignore that because, you know, unfortunately, it could be a situation where you have family members or friends who are karmics in your life. OK, karmic partners just don't include lovers. You could have a mother who's a karmic. Your uh, best friend of 10 years could be a karmic partner. Your child could be your karmic partner. Karmic partners are brought into your life to teach you a lesson. Um, it could be a couple of lessons, so it could take a couple years. You know, some people married their karmics and are going through divorces right now because this is the time where karmics are separating. But, um, you know, it's very important to pay attention to these intuitive nudges because, you know, it could be that these people are around you, but they don't have your best interests at heart, whether they're doing things directly or indirectly. All right. So, of course, as a Scorpio, those of you who are ascended Scorpios, you follow your intuition most times anyway, because you know that gut feeling means something. And it doesn't matter who it is. When it goes off, you investigate it. And that's what you should do. Doesn't mean you should jump to conclusions right away, but you should treat it like a fire alarm. All right. Investigate it. Um, act on the side of precaution first and investigate. And then if you find it's a, a, a false alarm, great. Okay. The false alarm could be this person's acting weird because they're trying to surprise you for your birthday. You know, um, something that might be a little bit more um, concern, you know, that you may show some concern about is, uh, you know, if it's a family member or a friend or someone close to you and they're acting really weird and you don't know why it has nothing to do with them trying to do something nice for you. It could very well be the opposite. It could be jealous of you, envious of you, or may not want you to have something, or it could be worse, okay? But the goal is to pay attention to the intuitive nudge. Don't brush it off because your, your intuition is a gift from your higher self, okay? So I'm going to put three cards out. We're going to see what intuitive energies I get, and if you resonate with it, rock on. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Check your other placements, okay? This is not a video or reading that is meant for you to try to make fit. All right, if you need a personal read, reach out to me. I'm in the box below. My info is in the box below. Let's put it that way. All right. Let's see what else we got. One more for Scorpio, please. That's way too many. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got here. We got the uh, devil energy, which is Capricorn energy. Okay. We have the seven of swords energy, which is uh, Gemini energy. I'm sorry, this is Aquarius energy. And then we have the seven of cups reverse, which is Piscean energy. Okay. So earth, air, and water. All right. With this earth energy, this devil energy, I feel like this could be you doing some toxic shit, <laughs> Scorpio, doing something that might be toxic, or you could be around someone who has toxic vibes, okay? This devil energy is no joke. Um, this could be um, someone who... This could be you, okay, first of all. This could be you and, and um, knowing that you're participating in something that is not healthy for you um, could be um, anything, Okay, it could be overindulging in things, all right, that you should be doing in moderation. Um, 
So you may want to be careful of that. You know, we all have our issues. We all have our vices in some way, shape, or form. If you're telling me that you don't have a vice of something, <laughs> then I would tell you that I don't trust your ass, okay? Um, now, everybody's vice, vice is not the same, but as a human being in this 3D realm, you know, we are weak in some way, shape, or form. And so everyone has some type of vice. So I feel like this is an energy of you not overindulging. Know the ledge, Scorpio. Know the ledge, all right? Um, other energies that I get with this is that there could be someone around you who um, is very toxic to you, okay? But we'll clarify and extend it and find out what this could be because it could be something for like two different Scorpios. It could be something totally different, right? But this is more so of an energy of you need to watch yourself and the, and the things that you indulge in and don't get to the point where it's toxic um, or you have people around you who are very toxic to your health and your, and your well-being, your emotional, spiritual, physical well-being, okay? So we'll take a look at that shortly. Um, this could also be fear too, Scorpio. You could be afraid, okay, um, of whatever, I don't know. OK, but that could be, you know, your worst enemy is you being afraid to step out and do what it is that you need to do. OK. Um, again, this could be an energy of. Hmm, I mean, devil energy is anything that you that could be anything that you do too much of. So, I mean, damn, you could be taking vitamin C too much. That's toxic. You could be, um, you know, um, walking too much, you know, trying to do exercise, doing too much exercise, um, you know, over, overdoing it, you know, doing too much muscle lift, you know, weightlifting. Okay. Anything that you do in excess is toxic. So make sure you're not doing things in excess. Okay. Whatever it is that you're uh, participating in or indulging in. And... Hmm. Yeah, that's what I get with that. Seven of Swords. This energy is an energy of, I feel like you need to be careful of people around you. Somebody around you is... Is not... <laughs> Somebody around you, I feel like, is not um, beneficial to your well-being. I, I feel like there's something sneaky going on here. Um, I'm not sure what, but we'll definitely clarify in the extended. But I feel like you need to be careful. What I'm also getting is you need to be quiet. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever plans you have, I feel like you need to share less. Because I feel like, um, you know, when you put that energy out there of what you're going to do or what you will be doing, um, there could be someone close. And these are people closest to you that we're talking about now, people that you deal with on a regular basis. Um, this could be someone from the past as well. You may have to you want to be careful because, you know, you got Mercury and Scorpio. All right. Mercury retrograde. So this is about, you know, people coming back from the past or reminiscing about you or you reminiscing about them. Um, but if someone comes back from the past, it could be someone who you have to watch out for and see why. This could be someone from the past as well who was toxic, who could be coming back. Um, they could be up to something. Okay. Um, so these cards could be related or they could be two separate incidences. But I feel like if you have any plans, um, you do need to be careful with your plans. Um, as far as sharing them with people, letting people know what's going on, letting people know what your moves are. Because I feel like you see this guy here, he's holding this little guy. The only way he can even grab him or get to him is by catching him off guard. You know, he's little. He could run circles around this guy. Like, you know, just imagine you trying to catch a little mouse. You know how fast they are, fast as hell. Unless you can, you know, try to predict which way they're going to go. It's just like you're just running around trying to chase but he's caught this guy because I feel like this guy has made it clearly obvious as to where he was going to be or what he was doing. So I feel like you should be careful. You should be quiet. You should be secretive about what your plans are. But you should also watch your back. Um, you know, and we'll clarify and extend it to see if there's anybody around you who's doing something they shouldn't be doing or why they're sneaking around. It could be, you know what, it could be because it's your birthday, Scorp. You know, somebody could be trying to plan something for you. 
Okay, so it could be that too. But we'll find out in the extended. So let's hope for that, okay? Because uh, I like surprises. I don't know about you. But yeah, there's something going on, all right? Or you need to be quiet. The Seven of Cups in reverse energy. This is um, an energy of... This is your energy. This is uh, Scorpio in uh, Venus in Scorpio, okay? Um, and I feel like... I feel like you um, are no longer in your head about the relationships that you um, were questioning. I feel like you get clarity. I feel like you, you if you already haven't had clarity, because these energies could pay, be past, present, future, I feel like you get clarity um, with the Seven of Cups here in reverse. Or I feel like you've made a decision about something. Um, you may have had some uh, different options and you made a decision and maybe that decision is not what's best for you, which is why this could be showing up in the Silent Enemies reading. Because getting clarity on something, why would that show up in the Silent Enemies reading? Right? Unless you got the wrong assumption or come to the wrong conclusion. Um, because, you know, when you're at the Seven of Cups energy, you're sitting there trying to figure out what these options are in one scenario. In another scenario, it could be you just confused about something. You know, someone could be trying to pull a wool over your eyes about something. Or this could be just you just thinking you have options that you really don't. Okay? And then you're betting on one of those options that may not be what's best for you. Okay, so that is what I'm feeling with this energy here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Now, hmm. And that's not a good thing. Yeah, I feel like that's, I feel like there's an issue with clarity as far as what decision you make. Because again, we're talking about Venus and Scorpio. Venus doesn't like Scorpio. <laughs> okay, it, 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 well, it doesn't, it's not that it doesn't like the Scorpio, it just doesn't do well you know, with Scorpio. And it, it it could be that, you know, you are so in your head about emotional, about making a decision that you may jump to conclusions about something and um, possibly choose the wrong thing, okay? So that's what I'm feeling with that. I'm just trying to see if, I'm, if anything else is coming to me with the Seven of Cups uh, energy in reverse. I feel like also like all the cups are empty like as far as loves or past loves as I feel like you've gone through um a stage where the last couple of uh connections that you had they were not really clear you know they were some of them were you know people pretending to be someone that was going to be you know whatever or it could have been you in an illusionary mind state in reference to you know what the connection was about but i feel like i feel like the cups are empty cuz they're in reverse meaning that you know you've turned over all of these cups you've tried these options and none of them have worked and i feel like that might be what the enemy could be as well is you um looking at options that were not beneficial to you and you turn over that cup and you find out that it's nothing there. So if anybody's coming towards you, especially anybody from the past, especially with Mercury in retrograde right now, I feel like you may want to be careful of that um, because that cup may be empty. Okay, or if somebody comes to you with the cup, you know, that cup may have something in it other than emotion. If that makes sense. But that's, that's what I'm seeing here. Now, these energies could all be related or they could be separate incidences um, where, you know, you may be in a situation where someone could be trying to do something or say something so that you're not aware and it, your spidey senses are going off and then you figure out what it is. And you figure out that it's something that's not good, which could be something that's toxic. 
So that could be a scenario here that would combine all three. But whatever is going on, I feel like you you actually find out what it is and you find out that it's something that's not good, which is why this is coming up as the um, in the uh, silent enemies reading. Um, but I feel like you catch it before it gets to the point where it's, you know, going to be um, a detriment to you. Especially if you're watching this reading, you are. There could be a situation where you can't figure something out and you just say, you know what, forget it. I can't figure it out. But you saying forget it could put you in a situation where it could be toxic energy around you or someone, you know, trying to run some circles around you. So you, you got to be careful with that, too. There's a couple different ways I'm seeing the Seven of Cups in reverse energy here. But um, that's what I got right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the extended. I'm going to do a couple of cards for each row to give you some scenarios or situations that relate to these energies that would, you know, give you a better example. Um, just in case some of the things that I talked about didn't resonate, the cards could reveal some other things that I need to make you aware of. So we'll do that in the extended. And um, hopefully I'll see you there. The link's in the box below. But if this resonated as is, feel free to click the like button and make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when I post for all of your uh, placements that you like to watch. All right. So I'm going to head to the extended now, Scorpio. Hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.